All right, guys. So we're back. Amanda's back. I'm back. Show them your gimp the, arm. The purple wave. Hey. Yep. <laughs> So I got my, so it's broke all the way across and then my bone up here is cracked and like a cross crack. So just snapped not good. It. Yeah. No surgery though. So, so she's going to do the review th with us today. I'm going to probably unpack most of the stuff, obviously uh, for yeah. obvious reasons. One hand. <laughs> and then she'll just be the taster for today. So without any further ado, we have a uh, Dutch ration from Netherlands, Dutch, Netherlands, whatever you want to call it. And this one is code number two. I'm not going to read the front. Uh, code two, I guess menu six. We'll wait till we open it up so it's all a surprise. These are always in a clear bag. There's never uh, any coloration in the bag. We have, there we go, this on the back. Let's see if we can find a day code anywhere in it. Let's go and open it up and move our custard there. We're gonna pull all this out and I, Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure everybody will in the comments. <laughs> I think this is the biggest yeah. MRE you can get. Yeah, it's huge. Military issue MRE. Put that back here. And I guess like a nutrition sheet, essentially. There you go. Did not see any date at all anywhere on this. Um... And that's the code O2 has something to stand for. We'll keep going. We have a plain porridge. So this is gonna be like just plain oats essentially. And uh, I'm not sure why they did that. I guess you could mix it with other stuff or if you just don't want any sugar and stuff in it. So this has a production of 2019, 12-11-2019. Uh, this says expiration of 12 of 2023. Or best before, I should say. So pretty fresh ration. As far as that goes, still well within spec. This stuff does not go bad no matter what anyway. Fruit measly with raspberries. We have uh, satay curry with chicken and potatoes. Pasta bolognese. How do you say it? Bolognese? Bolognese. Bolognese. Something like that, yeah. Depends on where you're from, I guess. Way like protein powder. Oh, that's cool. Yep, strawberry milkshake protein powder. Philip's gonna get buff later. <laughs> you lifting weights and drinking that. Uh, ice time drink powder. I've never seen these before. The Orifo ones usually come in like just a plain green packet, so they change change the package up a little bit. Uh, grapefruit. Those apple flavored. These are different. Yeah. Orange flavored. Exotic flavor, and this is always has the um, like a tropical, tropical, um, was like mango, uh, pineapple, pineapple stuff like that. I think maybe possibly even passion fruit. I don't remember. The accessory packs are real in this one. Look at that. Accessories and snacks. I guess this is more of the snack pack. Another one's probably more the accessory. Ooh, floss picks, dental floss. Yep, it's like a little wheel. You grind the gunk out of your teeth with it. It's pretty strange. Mm. Nutwalker peanuts, barbecue flavored. Mm. Not bad. I'm make sure I hold the right angle here. This okay. is yeah, but it's it's got a hole oh, in it. Yeah. So that's a no go. Farmhouse pate. We're gonna put that over here so we don't accidentally forget about that and eat some of it. Wild West beef jerky. All this Euro beef jerky is really bad. It's very hard and weird and strange. This doesn't feel as, uh, it is though. We'll, we'll investigate, how about that? We'll give it benefits of the doubt. Fruit biscuits, these are really good. These are also in some of the German rations. A lot of your rations have these. It's like a whole grain biscuit with like little specks of fruit in it. The whole pack of Kleenex is not just a little bit. In case things don't work out, you know what I mean? Got that. I have a big giant black spoon. Protein bar. Cookies and cream flavored protein bar. Cookies and cream flavor. Brown biscuits, just a regular like brown wheat kind of biscuit. Not a lot of flavor in it. We have peanut butter. Chocolate, or chocolade. Moist towelette, there's three moist towelettes. 
vitamin D3 tablet. Interesting. This one's kind of a healthier. You ever take that one? Protein, yeah. Hazelnut spread with chocolate flavor, choco flavor. Hmm. We have two packs of chewing gum. Two toothpicks. Very nice. And a whole lot of coffee and salt and pepper and. Well, some of these look the same as the German ration, as far as this stuff goes. Instant chocolate drink powder. Drank. Pooder. All right. Sugar. We have coffee creamer. Herbal mix. So I guess this is like a... Tea, like an herbal tea. Yeah, marjoram, sage, basil, thyme, oregano, parsley. I think it's a sprinkle on your food. Mm. Uh, instant coffee, obviously. Instant coffee. Instant coffee. Salt, or the zout. We have breakfast tea and green tea. Orange tea. Three more packs of sugar. Tomato soup. Ooh, nice. Runder bouillon, beef bouillon. So these are the same as the German ration. And these are both, I think this one was a little funk, eh? These are always good though. And we have a pack of black pepper. And that is it. Now we're already 10 minutes in the video just unpacking it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna shut the camera off. We're gonna get everything trayed up get a bunch of water heated up and try to get the show on the road. So what we're gonna do, we have the two measles, the plain oats. We're gonna leave the plain oats out because it's so much and plain oats are plain oats, right? We're gonna do that. We pick through our pile of drinks into the apple drink. And so our hot drinks we're gonna do is gonna be a, the apple one. We're gonna do the cocoa for Philip, tomato soup, then we're going to do the orange tea for me, and then we got our herbal mix. We're gonna we'll yeah, test and tune that a little bit, yeah. And so, without any further ado, let's go ahead and go open this up. We have our mains in the kettle heating up. Let's go ahead and give that a little bit of that, and then we're gonna mix it all in a big cup. Uh, let me see here. Usually, these are like a 500 mil. Per portion, 250 mil actually, okay. So just as a reminder, the other drinks were orange, exotic fruit, and grapefruit. So we decided apple was the better of them. We decided apple was the way to go. So, I don't really smell like much, to be honest. Got a bottle of water here, we're gonna yeah, mix it up. Kinda smells a little bit like apple cider vinegar. 250 mil is gonna be pretty much the whole the whole works here. So I think these are 250 mil, aren't they? Well, it's actually 500 mil, so I might have just messed yeah. up. Yeah. My bad. We'll see. Might have made it better, better or worse. Yeah, you never know. We didn't pour quite all of it in there, so. Okay. We'll let that sit just for a little bit, and we're gonna pour that in three separate cups. So we'll put that right there and let it do its thing. Next up, we have our hot water is ready to go. So we'll get this for Philip. And this was, this is probably gonna be the whole thing per cup, Cocoa. if I remember right. 38 grams, 200 mil, okay. Stick my finger in your hot chocolate, but it's actually a lot of powder. Or it seems so. Like this one powder. actually has like coffee creamer in it, mm. and you can smell that bad boy a mile away. It smells really, really good. Yeah, it smells good. Mm, it does. It smells okay. rich, rich, nice, rich chocolate. Is that gonna be hot enough for you? Burn your face off? I think so. Oh. Got a fork. I touched your spoon too. You're going to have all kinds of cuties when we're done with this one. I'm going to mix that up. We're just going to pass that. 
I'm gonna let you put that where you want that. Maybe on the table behind you or something. It's hotter than hell, isn't it? Okay. Next up, our tomato soup. Let's see if we can actually do this one right. How's the chocolate, Philip? So this is only good. Yeah, it's really good. 175 ml of water, so it's a pretty small amount of water. Luckily, we've got a measuring cup, so we get it exactly right. Philip approves of the hot chocolate. Does it burn your face off hot or not? No, it's not too bad. I turned the kettle off a little bit early, so hopefully it wouldn't be an issue. Now, I love tomato soup, so I'm curious to see how this is going I've had to a be. version of this before. Oh, it's got like dehydrated noodles in there. I don't Upscaled. remember it being. Upscaled tomato soup. I still can't smell right. Mm. You smell anything it, at all? It smells like tomato soup, yeah. I think so. All right. Give her a little mixy mix. We're just gonna set this back here for right now. That has to reconstitute the noodles and all that stuff. One more drink and that's the orange tea. You're more of a tea person. I don't know, I don't if, know really... if I'd like that or not. I can't really smell it though. No, you don't smell it. A little, a little bit. bit of tea. A little bit. Maybe not little, much. Not much orange, a lot of tea. Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave a little bit. We'll take that here just shortly because it'll oversteep and be nasty. Nasty. We'll come back to this in a little bit. We'll let the water cool off. I'm going to pop the lid on the kettle because I'm going to be able to mix that with just like warm water in a small cup. I think it's going to be the best way to do that. <clears throat> so before we start here, let's go ahead and come back to this and let's separate this because I think it should be set long enough to be good to go. Oh or graciously. Probably have to put more in there. Hold on. That's about right. Your apple drink, sir. Thank you. Actually, not too bad. It, it kind of a kind of smells. I mean, barely like an apple. But it tastes like a cold apple cider to me. Like it is mixed a little bit thin, mm -hmm. a little bit watery. Yeah, but it's not strong though. I mean, the apple is a real mild drink anyway. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I said it tastes like cold apple cider. Okay, almost forgot our measly. It's our fruit measly with raspberries. We gotta mix that. See, I hate ripping this stuff off because it makes a big mess. Or hit your arm and make it <laughs> spill over yourself. There you go. That looks good. All right. We'll pop the gusset out on the bottom of the bag. Make some drywall paste over there. Yeah, on these there's no... Um, You just gotta mix it. You just gotta kinda know how to mix it. There's no line on the bag, there's no nothing. It's just like, you know, you should know. Almost got too much water in it. However, once that sets, that should be just about perfect. I would venture to say. So I would do these. We'll zip it up, we'll set it back to the back, and we'll come back to it here in a few minutes. And I think we're ready for main, so we'll be right back. We got pasta bolognese, 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 bolognese. I don't know. Everybody's picky about this and the tortillas. Got a bowl out Ooh, here. That looks good, actually. Every time with this kind of stuff, it's all whether it tastes like preservatives. Mm -hmm. Now, some of the Spanish rations, some of the Euro rations, some of the German rations, these are made by Jomipsa, I believe so. This is not. They're made in Spain. 
So this might be good. Some of that Jomesa stuff is kind of a little on the odd side. So you could sprinkle your herbal mix over that, some oregano and all that kind of Italian seasoning in there. Yep. Yeah, we'll try it just like it is first and then. Hopefully this is hot. I don't see any steam. Well, a little bit. It's not like burn your face off hot, but it's mm -hmm. like warm. Is that what Chef Boyardee tasting? Mm. I'm tasting the Italian seasoning in there, and the the meat tastes a little bit um, Chef like Boyardee. maybe gritty. Well, Chef Boyardee, maybe a little bit of soy meat. I going think it's on. good though. Overall, it's it's good. It tastes it's like not Chef bad. Boyardee ravioli. Yeah. Yeah. The noodles are not overly cooked. It is like if you bit a ravioli open, Chef Boyardee, and it's like that weird meat herbal mix. This was, what was this? Marjoram, S-A-I-L-E. The noodles are oh, sage. a little bit Basil, doughy Basil, thyme, or oregano, and parsley. Doughy or mushy for the noodles. A little bit of that action. Yeah. I don't know. Does it help it or maybe a little? Mm-hmm. Philip wants to try some Renaga, jump out of his way. Yeah, it helped it a lot. I think it's good. It did. It really Gave did. it that little extra kick. Yeah, actually very good. I'm going to stir this tomato soup just a little bit. We probably need to try this before it gets too yeah, cold. Yeah, go ahead and do that next. Does anybody so think else? it helped it any? A little There's, bit. Yeah, it did. It, was, it is definitely better. Just want me to take a spoonful of it out of here, or do you want to put it in something so we can all try yeah. it? Um, just take a spoonful out. We'll, we'll, I was going to say, it's not that hot. You could probably pour it in a plastic cup if we all wanted to try it. Well, let's all take a, take a spoonful, see. Well, here, I'll let you tilt to that a little bit so I can get... Oh, it's easier your other hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too heavy. Okay. Don't spill it. I will. Let's see, it's shaking like a leaf. Ooh, that has a, I don't know, a weird, it doesn't taste tomato-y. Oh, dang it, I need another. It doesn't taste good. I mean, it's weird. Yeah, it is. I don't know what that flavor is. I think it has like powdered milk in it. Don't have to make it creamy. I don't know. Or coffee creamer. The noodles look like they're hard, but they're not. It's not like bad, it's just Maybe strange. like a, a preservative, yeah. like metallic. That. I don't know. Yeah. It's almost like they dumped a garden vegetable soup mix in it. Something, yeah. And um, a little funk A for sure. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just very different. Well, next up we got our satay, 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 mm -hmm. curry with chicken and potato. Oh boy. Does that smell like you smell the curry in there? No. No, it doesn't. And it looks very oily. There you go. Oh, spill it up there. <laughs> there. It's almost like it was oily on top and then creamy. Yep. That's usually the way it. A lot of times, Ooh. any food's like that, it's oily. You know? I don't know if it's. Probably not grease per se. So a little bit of little mini corn on the cob in there. Is that what that is? And then. Yep. A little chicken. Looks like it's not very hot, something. maybe. Potatoes, chicken, maybe some green beans or something. A little piece of corn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say about corn. <laughs> Comes out the same way it goes in, boys. Probably not this one, though. Here, I'll take a clean spoon. I don't stick my used spoon in there. Okay, I mean, so I'm gonna get a little chicken, vegetable, potato. Okay. A little oh, bit spicy. On there. Spicy at the end. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. you could, I mean, if we come, let's be honest, we're taking it out of a pouch. It's not bad at all. No, it's not bad. It um, is a little bit spicy. 
It's only spicy at the very end, though, if you notice that. Right. I think the potato, the flavoring of the potato, I think that's good. I'll get it. Don't worry about it. I got the microfiber somewhere. Oh, right I definitely like the um, pasta bolognese better than the chicken. It's just a little bit strange, I think. I mean, yeah, it's not a little bit. I, I like it way more than I thought I would. It's weird because there's no heat at the front. It's all at the back. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like almost like sweet vegetable, not sweet vegetable, but the, the, you taste the vegetable at the very beginning. I think all right. the oil just turns me off looking at just the appearance of it turns me off, but the taste is not that bad. All right. So before we go any further, let's knock out this nasty whey powder. I mean, I said nasty. Maybe it's not nasty. Maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves here. I mean, it's strawberry flavored. It can't be that bad. Famous last words. I was going to mix a little bit of it up. I mean, I don't know. No sugar added. 74% protein. All that's got to be good. 300 ml of water to all that. Let's do this. Just make half of it up. I'm going to mix it up in a big cup. Might as well mix the whole thing because let's right. be honest. Oh, yeah. Let's be honest here. There ain't nobody finishing no saving that off for later. later. So we have some hot water in the kettle. Is it 300 ml? Well, hell, probably not. This is probably getting cold. Can you off. mix cold water up with that though? Not hot. No, is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dump that in there first though. Oh boy, I almost proteined up the curry powder. You can mix hot or cold with it. Look at that stuff. Seems like a lot. Yeah, I think I'd prefer cold water though with it. What well, was the last? Too bad they didn't give you one of those shaker. Stir with the fork, boys. I mean, it smells good. I could go in here. Mixer in. That might be too hot for that cup. It's warm, but I was it's say, not. I don't know. I I would put cold in there. Oh, it's got <laughs> it's got the floaters. You love floaters. Was it when we were doing it? Crunchy floaters on top. Oh yeah. It looks oh. good. It looks like the I'm messing up too because oh, your tea's getting. I forgot about my tea. It looks like the protein drinks you buy in the store. Yeah. But yeah, usually you put them in a thing and shake it to get the chunks out. Does it feel like it's gonna melt the cup or not? No, it's not that hot. No. Okay. Let me taste this tea while that's cooling off just a smidge. Got pretty damn dark. A little bit of orange in it, a very little bit of orange in that. Really? Actually, very, very little bit. But it's not, even though it oversteeped for way too long, it's still not bitter. Oh man. That's not near enough water in that. I hate to keep pouring this in here because I feel like it's gonna melt the cup. I keep doing that. That's it. That's it. Everybody's like, oh crap, we gotta drink this nonsense <laughs> too. It smells really good though. It's like strawberries. Should we mix up a little more? Still got some floaties. Um, do you have any cold water to add to that? No, it's going to make it not mix, oh, okay. I would say. Just like sugar or anything. Can you smell it? Not. Yeah, now I can. It smells very strawberry. It smells good. That's good. I'm trying to squish. As we're talking, a waste of time, I'm trying to squish the lumps off the top of it. But it's just not going to be that way. I don't want you guys fighting over who has more lumps than the other one. <laughs> Might need to check on our muesli here in a minute, too. I'm sure it's like drywall mud. Here you go. Got a couple floaters in the bottom before you guys might have to do a little chewing. It's actually really good. Um, definitely taste the strawberry, it's taste the cream. I'm I would have preferred you, it cold, though, still, but. But see, when you mix it cold, mm -hmm. well, when you mix it hot, it's not gritty. Actually, the chunks that are floating in there taste really strawberry. They're actually good. <laughs> I like the chunks. I like the chunks. It tastes like, what is it, Frankenberry cereal? The strawberry cereal when we were kids? Yeah, it kind of tastes like you um, like a strawberry eat strawberry cereal and you drink the milk afterwards. Okay. I, 
you know, we're a little critical of the strawberry drink. It's actually not that bad. Yeah, yeah it's actually pretty good. I've had worse. Check your uh, lot paste worse. over there. Drywall glue. Let's see, drywall mud. Actually, it is pretty much perfect. Got a tiny, tiny, tiny bit too much water. We'll let Manny get the first shovel out of there. Actually, it looks really good. These are always really good. Mix her up a little bit. What do you think? Okay, so it has chunks of apples in there. Yep. Oats. Fruit muesli. It's not, not sweet at all, though. I feel like I'd probably put a sugar packet in there if I'd eat it. It's, it's kind of bland. The fruit doesn't really give it a lot well, of sweetness, but... I think they start off with a blam. That's why they give you all the sugar in this one. Mm -hmm. So you actually add to it. I kind of like it that way, but probably need to throw some sugar in it. Yeah. Do you agree? I just dumped that strawberry milkshake in there. Pretty good. I can Call see if that's bland like that with fruit in it, then the plain stuff would be really bland. Right. Yeah. I don't think it needs anything, really. Oh, wow, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's probably good, isn't it? I guess if you stir it stir up, it'll be good. I got my, you gotta get my mouth, mouth cooties over here. I mean, I got mine too. <laughs> like, I already got cooties, what are you well, talking about? We're related, it's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's much better. It's better if it's like crunchy with sugar. Mm-hmm. Phil's like, let me be the judge of this. <laughs> I'll wipe it up to worry about. It did make it slightly better. Mm -hmm. That is better. And a yeah. lot more crunchier. <laughs> the first bite is like crunch, crunch on sugar. Put that to the back. All right, so next up, let's go ahead and do this. And then we're just gonna go ahead and go down and do. I'm looking back on our soup and I can tell our noodles are getting, getting much bigger here. Smells, I can't tell what it is, it's very strong. Yeah, it's not teriyaki, it must be just a, a real strong smoked flavor. Teriyaki, garlic, onions. It should be good. It was gonna taste good after eating the, the fruit is like. That's so hard. The it Euro did. jerk is always yeah, just terrible. Yeah, I'm trying to find a small piece in here. Not much of a choice. I can't oh, it taste very it very hard. good, I could tell something's very strong onion powder or something. I can't, I can't bite through it. Like terrible. It does taste maybe like a little uh, onion oniony flavor. I can just tell it's strong. I can't pick out what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, our brown biscuits. So that was probably for that, the pate mainly. Spread the pate on there, or brown biscuits, or your peanut butter or hazelnut. In other oh, words, man. your Nutella. I don't know if I could swallow peanut butter. Or I not. didn't know that you did not like peanut butter. Do you want to try some peanut butter? I'll try peanut one? butter. I don't think I can't swallow it. It's like just mud in my mouth. <laughs> it's so dry. I don't know. I feel like when I was younger, it wasn't maybe as bad. Um, but. Anymore today, it just, especially on a dry cracker, a piece of bread. Mm -hmm. It's like trying to swallow a mouthful of glue. Oh, oh I forgot. Oh, that's oily. I forgot. Uh, it could come back out looking like that. <laughs> I didn't need it. Oh, there you go. It's not dry. It's almost like it could have, looks like it should have honey or something mixed up with it being that runny. Mm. Now, Euro peanut butter is a lot different though. Philip, you like a peanut butter? Yeah, look, 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 look. yeah it is, it, it is very <laughs> oily and it just tastes kind of greasy in your mouth. I don't know that much or not, but there you go. I'll take the whole thing, why not? 
Yeah, I don't, I don't care for that peanut butter, just saying, but. I squidged it together, but it wasn't enough. It should have been more. The was biscuit it, has a nice wheat flavor. Like? <laughs> the biscuit <laughs> has a, a very nice wheat flavor to it, though. Okay, let me wipe that off a little bit because I'm trying not to get peanut butter. Everything covered in peanut butter. Okay. All right, so moving on. Another biscuit. We're going to try the hazelnut throw. This biscuit. No, the peanut butter, I didn't see you. Did you knead up the package before you? you yeah, but it so wasn't enough. Like okay. I need it. Uh, when the camera's off, I need it again when the camera's on. It just wasn't enough. It does look good. So, yeah, these are snappy piece off. Sure. No, that's kind of what my wrist, my wrist sent it like the other day. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do the same with this. Again, I needed this, but let's make sure. Now these are very good. They taste like those, um, oh, what are they called? Belvia biscuits you buy in the store. They're different flavors. Belvita? No, not. Is that what's called? Those Belvita? little biscuits, yeah. Here, spread me some on there. See if I can crunch really loud in the microphone. So this is pretty much like your Nutella. Mm hmm If you want to fill up, I'll squid you some on her. Now see, the hazelnut spread, it's not oily like that at all. Hazelnut little, spread is very good. It has little bits of hazelnut on it too. Mm -hmm. We notice that? It doesn't taste like the, the Nutella hazelnut spread we have here. It's not fake and weird. It, it tastes more like real, right. kind of like. What do you think, really good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Oh. A little poo on her. I wish Nutella tasted like that. I'd buy it more. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah. a, that's a nice, sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be so weird after that. Yeah, I know. Okay, not like just maybe a couple. Oop. One more. One more. There we go. So they have like the coating on there, like the, the barbecue. Yeah. Well, it's not my <laughs> thing. Everywhere. Onion powder, maybe. I can't mm. tell. I feel something's really strong. I feel like the barbecue flavoring is not strong at all. It's not spicy. I can tell something strong on it. It just gives it kind of enough hint to not make them so plain. I don't know. Protein bar, cookies and cream. Wow. That's dark. I'm surprised I actually cut that easy. How dark that is. Like no sugar at all in it. I'm trying to decipher the flavor. A very it doesn't taste like of, like it doesn't taste like a cookie or like it don't feel taste the very cookie. slight hint of like non sweet chocolate. Yeah, yeah. and very, that's it. I don't mind it. I don't think it's bad. Mm -mm. Chocolate bar. Now that's obviously dark chocolate, I'm guessing, or milk chocolate. This is year old dark chocolate. It's not like uh, Hershey's. It's not sour. It have a really high cocoa concentration to it. It'll be the best chocolate you ever had. Probably. Look, Philip, get, get a piece of that. Are you still eating that? That's a bowl steak for me to make so I didn't try it yet. Oh yeah, it's very good. It's not bitter. Um, it is dark chocolate, but it's not like the regular dark chocolate, like bittery. 
very good flavor. Hmm. All right. You can try that on your teeth now, or no, what? No, I'm just gonna take a look at it. This is the cleaner for your teeth, your tooth. <laughs> you can see here. Oh, that's cool. You put it in your mouth, you chew it around, take it, you rub it on your teeth, what? and it has like a little bit of um, toothpaste built into it. It's pretty cool. That's the uh, Dutch toothbrush, I guess. Put it over there. Eat that later. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. We've done her all. The video is long as hell. Okay, and so overall, I mean, I think it's a very good meal. A lot of protein. Um, I think I'd give it about a nine, nine and a half out of ten. Very close to the German ration. Mm -hmm. German ration, I think, was a little bit better. Had a few traits to it. Um, this was definitely a lot of food. These are not easy to find anymore for a good price. I think right. this was probably, I don't remember if it was 79 or $89 for this meal. Uh, so it's pretty expensive. I think the tomato soup and the chicken curry turned me off. Um, this was pretty good. The bolognese yep. and then the crackers and all, everything was pretty good. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, we should be back Wednesday, as far as we know, uh, with the Q&A. And then after that, Friday will be another review. Maybe we'll do those nasty... South Korean leaves, garlic leaves and stuff. Or we can do the garlic leaves on Wednesday for a little Ooh. snack. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, stay tuned, guys. We'll see you all very soon. Have a good day.